Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Today on our Tackle Tactics Animated Knot Series, we are stepping through tying a dropper loop. So basically a dropper loop is designed to be tied in monofilament or fluorocarbon main lines or leaders, and is designed so that we can create this knot that steps our hook, fly, lure, or other terminal tackle away from our main line or our leader. So, a very useful knot, especially for those fishing with a sinker on the bottom if you're fishing your pattern oster style rigs and that for offshore. Let's have a look at how to tie a dropper loop. We commence our dropper loop by creating a loop in the main line that crosses over itself. Begin passing this closed loop over and around the main line while keeping the center loop in place. We now create four to six wraps ensuring that the center loop remains slightly open. We can now pass the remaining section of the large loop back through the center loop. Moisten the line and slowly work the wraps down tight while pulling the dropper loop to tighten. The dropper loop can now be passed through the eye of the hook, swivel, jig head or lure and looped back over to lock it in place. Keep the loop short to minimize twists and tangles and now you have successfully tied a dropper loop. So there you go folks, there's another knot to add to your arsenal. That is the dropper loop, a handy knot for attaching a hook, swivel, fly, lure or other terminal tackle to a monofilament or fluorocarbon mainline or leader and that knot allows the hook or lure to stand out away from the mainline or leader. So another good knot, another handy one in your kit. Get out there, get stuck into a few fish. Cheers.